the retreat started in 1997 at Mount Holyoke College here in Massachusetts. The whole idea was to start an event that will integrate with the social fabric of the American arts and American society. This is an ideal setting for students from various backgrounds to meet, to know each other, to compare experiences, but also to play music, their own music, where they come with different skills, and to uh, interact with other musicians, as well as with the many instructors who teach at the retreat. The day starts with what I call it the morning tuning, which is the big class with the, with Simon Shaheen doing ear training. It's it's I always go there. Uh, I can't miss miss a class. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one. It's a lot of fun, everybody's singing, everybody's fighting to get all those small microtones. Uh, then we split the theory classes and then we have private lessons uh, after, of course, they feed us here. After food, uh, we go to private classes uh, and then we go to ensemble classes. And then at night there is an orchestra. Within that long day, at night, like after 10 p.m., we have jam sessions for the students. Uh, they arrange, they, they try, they gather, like they, some of them play solo, some, play, some of them play duet and, and group. And uh, it, it doesn't have to be Arabic music. So people really kind of open up after 10 p.m., you know, after the working hours, because in the day they feel a little bit, you know, that there's so much information being given to them and they're trying to absorb everything learn the most and then after 10 they really just open up and you really meet them for who they are and it's really a wonderful experience to witness that. I think the, the taste of Arabic culture that we have in this retreat makes it a very warm, hospitable environment for anyone who wants to participate in it. Yet at the same time there's a very incredible sense of exclusivity, you know, that we're participating in this very elite, uh, disciplined retreat. If you wanted to summarize the retreat in a nutshell for me, it would be that it was a musical awakening. The Arabic music retreat represents the musical heritage of my forefathers. Um, it's a kind of intense, distilled experience uh, in, of, of that whole culture of Arabic, Lebanese, Middle Eastern, Levant uh, culture that I uh, was born into, so to speak, but don't practice on a, on a daily basis, is in a sense uh, a means for me to connect further and to go deeper in that connection with the family and the, and, and the culture, which is extremely important. And this is something that I think other Arabs, other Arab Americans, other people with uh, you know, um, a keen interest and uh, feeling for this culture and this music can experience here at the Arabic Music Retreat. I think this retreat is the most important Arabic activity in the history of the United States. So we drove across the country. And from Minneapolis. From Minneapolis, today. which took, you know, two and a half days, and just talked and talked and talked and talked and talked all the way here, which was a fantastic thing in itself. And then we got here, and I was amazed. I was amazed at the yeah. level of the performers, the teachers are, are all virtuosos in many, in many forms. I mean, it's really fantastic. Every single one is a master teacher. Every single one uh, is just a phenomenal musician. Uh, and together, it was just an unbeatable, uh, unbeatable group of uh, instructors for us. And I felt so lucky to be um, introduced to this music by people with such immense knowledge. Um, and they did a fantastic job of, of sharing the, the wealth and the depth of the culture with me. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I didn't know anything really about Arabic music. Simon and, and the co-founder, uh, Dr. Rossi, have achieved something extraordinary in the foundation of this retreat. What they are doing in um, Arabic music education is, to my knowledge, unprecedented. 
Um, they, um, th there's nothing quite like this, from my understanding, in the world. My name is Andrew Eisenberg. Uh, I'm, a, I'm an ethnomusicologist. I teach ethnomusicology at NYU in Abu Dhabi. Just in the week that I've been here, my, I feel like my musicality has, has grown. Um, I've, I've learned a lot about performing on oud, and I've learned a lot about listening and a lot about the technical aspects, but also about the, the kind of emotional aspects of listening to Arab music and, and experiencing it. Uh, things that I, I kind of knew, but you know, not having ever been around uh, a kind of community like this before, this has been really transformational for me. My family brought me here because they wanted me to get used to playing Arabic music because they're originally from Syria. After 19 years of self-promoting the retreat, and uh, uh, we, we never asked for any support for the retreat be, because my vision was to keep it and build an institution of the retreat that is really uh, reflect uh, purity, uh, love, musicality, and a community of participants who take their experience all over the world and use it or infuse it with their own uh, artistry. To reach the next level, an endowment will um, allow us to expand the faculty, offer more scholarships to students, and let, give us more visibility in the world. And open up some vistas of how to expand our mission um, and bring our music to more people. This opportunity doesn't happen every day and, uh, and it's, it proved itself so far. Uh, so uh, we are asking everyone who can really uh, help uh, this retreat, uh, nothing personal here, but it's for the service of art and culture and to promote the Arabic music in this part of the world. It's more than necessity. It's important that we know that the retreat can keep happening year after year. If this thing is to continue, it has a mission not just to, to, serve, uh, to serve people who are interested and want to learn, but to give a, a, a mis message to the wider world. You know, that here's something valuable, worthwhile, that you should be paying attention to. I'm eternally gr grateful for the scholarship program to be, you know, to get me here the first two years until I was able to support myself for the, for the last two years to, to, to come uh, without needing the scholarship. So I can imagine there are a lot of people out there who um, really want the chance to be able to come and um, take part of this, but they cannot for financial reasons. Uh, so I think the, the, the scholarship program is, is, is an essential part of the retreat. I hope it will you know, continue. I'm appealing to the people that are sponsoring and that can sponsor and that can afford to sponsor to please come out for us to please come out and help us i've devoted 20 years of my life to this project and i'm doing as much as i can i'd like to see you do as much as you can thank you very much please come out and help us yeah.